I knew that I would always want to study abroad in Italy. And so once I found out that Stony Brook has a program in Florence, I knew that it was a perfect fit for me. But after orientation, after I made friends, after all that, I just started going out more. I started seeing the city, seeing what Seoul had to offer, and it was just a lot of fun for me. My first time stepping foot in Tanzania was so breathtaking. I was actually able to encapsulate that moment through journals. And you know, what I actually wrote the first time was that the grass was much greener, um, the sky was much blue, and the air was much cleaner when I first got there. As an engineering major, I was able to work with my advisors and go study abroad, have a great experience, and still be on track for graduation. In Peru, I went whitewater rafting. In Spain, I was able to take cooking classes. In China, I visited the Great Wall. I took a harbor tour of Shanghai. I saw the Terracotta Warriors. The list just goes on and on of the fantastic experiences I had while abroad. Being able to go to Mount Kilimanjaro and just climb a mountain for the first time, you know, and seeing how completely different it was from anything I can imagine. On the Jamaica study abroad, learning in the environment where you're picking up the specimens and you're looking at the coral and the fish firsthand with your professor who's a professional in this field totally exceeds sitting in the classroom flipping through a textbook and only imagining what they look like in real life. So that was just a really special experience that just enhances it tenfold. Some of the things I gained from studying abroad was a higher level of confidence, independence, and responsibility that I feel I could have only gained by studying abroad. Not to mention the fact that my Italian speaking skills and language skills were also increased. It's something that you could read about or hear about in orientation, you know, read about your itinerary and see what you're going to do. But once you get there, it's nothing that your mind can fathom completely. Academically, it really put me in a position to have amazing things to put on applications for grad school, transcripts, and really amazing people to reach out to if I needed a letter of recommendation as well. During my first day of orientation, I was like, I need to make a friend here. I need to force myself out of my comfort zone. And that's what the study abroad program really pushed me to do. When I got back, I couldn't stop talking about it. I made a lot of new friends that I still text today. And it just made me see the world in a different way. Study Book really prepared me for my study abroad experience. And when I went to Korea, the partner university there gave me even more orientations where they taught me about the mannerisms in Korea and who to call for emergencies and just acclimated me to the new environment. When you weigh the costs of tuition for the credits that you're taking and accommodations and traveling, it is the most economical option for going out in the world and experiencing a new culture and a new place. It's an amazing value and you'll be happy that you invested in it. I worked closely with the financial aid office to help develop a plan to fit my financial aid needs. Studying abroad was probably one of the cheapest semesters at Stony Brook. All my financial aid counted towards the program, and I was a recipient of the IAP Study Abroad Scholarship. I recommend studying abroad because it's a fantastic opportunity that you can really only have in college that carries with it so many fantastic benefits, so why let it pass you by? Once you're on a plane, you know, you're thinking about everything that you learned in orientation and everything that you're going to do. Once you actually physically get there, it's going to blow your mind. I recommend study abroad to everybody. If you talk to anybody who's done study abroad, you will not find a single person that says they don't want to go on another one or they wish they didn't do it. Well, I just feel like study abroad is for that person that just wants the best for themselves. And I think that you know, it's one of the best things I definitely did as a student and then as a person too. It's something that you can't really put into words. It's something that you have to experience for yourself.